Hello, Stonington Middle School eighth grade stingrays. We're so happy that you're able to join us for the 2020 virtual eighth grade awards ceremony. I'm your principal and host, Mr. Smith. Joining me for the presentations will be a wide variety of co-hosts as we honor you, our inaugural eighth grade class of Stonington Middle School. We have a nice venue set up inside for our award show. So come on, let's come inside and get comfortable. Students and staff, parents and guests, it gives me great pleasure, although remotely, to welcome you to the 2020 Stonington Middle School eighth grade awards ceremony. This is a very special assembly for SMS as we join together as a school in a community to celebrate our students' accomplishments. I wanna thank all of the parents who are watching today. Your continued support and efforts at home allow SMS to make a difference for each student that we work with. Next, I'd like to thank our wonderful Stonington Middle School faculty for their hard work and continued efforts in helping all of our students reach their full potential even during these difficult times. And finally, I wanna thank our students whether you're receiving an award today or celebrating the accomplishments of a classmate, you are what makes Stonington Middle School special. Please know that we're extremely proud of your efforts every year and that we are very, very proud of your accomplishments in what turned out to be a very challenging year. Students receiving an award today will receive the certificate for that award during our promotion ceremony reverse parade at the end of this week. Together, we are what makes Stonington Middle School and our community a wonderful environment, and I want to thank each of you for helping us make it great. Before we get going with the awards, I do want to mention the fact that since this is the first year of Stonington Middle School, um, we are making one change in our awards procedure. Everything was a little bit different in each of the two middle schools, uh, so I thought it was appropriate to come up with something new and different for Stonington Middle School. In the past, uh, there were some uh, awards that were called scholarships and checks of nominal value were given to students. We're going to uh, change that and we're going to use those scholarship funds to create a wall of fame at the school. We'll be buying permanent plaques that explain the award, who it's named after, why uh, that award is given, uh, a little history of it, and then individual name plaques through the years with the date for the winners. Uh, I just think it's a better way to celebrate the memorials of the people who have donated uh, to the award in their name. Uh, and it's also a way to create uh, kind of a permanent place of honor for them and for the students each year that win that award. So we'll be putting that all together over the summer and getting those plaques made uh, and the students' names and years on them and get that ready for the start of next school year. So that's it, let's get to the awards. We're gonna start with our, uh, perhaps our most prestigious award of the night, that is the Connecticut Association of Schools Scholar Leader Award. And to handle that part of tonight, I'm gonna to turn it over to our assistant principals, Mrs. Bricoli and Mrs. Sullivan. Hello everyone. I'm Deanna Bricoli and I'm here with Mrs. Ann Faye Sullivan to present the CAS Scholar Leader Awards. The CAS Scholar Leader Program is designed to give public recognition to two students from each middle school in Connecticut who have distinguished themselves in scholarship and leadership in school and in community. The academic standards established by the Connecticut Association of Schools are based on a cumulative middle school average of at least an 85. Stonington Middle School's practice, however, is to nominate students who have earned a cumulative average of an A. Recipients must demonstrate leadership, active participation in school and community organizations, exemplary citizenship, dependability, responsibility, good character, and integrity. The two SMS students who are receiving the 2020 Connecticut Association of Schools Scholar Leader Award were nominated by their teachers, guidance counselors, and administration. The recipient of the 2020 CAS Scholar Leader Award for the Blue House is Mia Batone. And the recipient of the 2020 CAS Scholar Leader Award for the Gold House is Caitlin Kuhn. Congratulations. Congratulations. 
Mia <laughs> and Caitlin. And now, the Math and Science Awards. Hi, I'm Kelly Jensen, the eighth grade math teacher for the blue team. And hi, I'm Jen Raymond. I'm the eighth grade math teacher for the gold team. Tonight, we will be presenting the Jean Francis Math Award. Jean Francis was a longtime math teacher at the middle school level who set high standards for excellence in math. This award is given annually in her memory to two students who demonstrate excellence in math and a love for the subject. Award winners show perseverance in solving complex problems and a willingness to help other students in the class. I am honored to announce the blue team recipient of the Jean Francis Award is Angelina Williams. Angelina comes to class every day eager and ready to learn. She always provides thought-provoking insight to class discussions, and it has been a true pleasure having her in class this year. There were times in extended learning time when I gave students extremely complex problems and challenged them to solve the problems without a calculator. Angelina would not only persevere in solving more than I had expected, but she also helped her peers with math concepts and with motivation. She has earned 100% or higher all four quarters this year, resulting in an average of 103%. Congratulations, Angelina. And I am honored to announce that the gold team recipient for the Jean Francis Award is Ekaterina Stagovskich. Katya is one of the brightest eighth grade mathematicians I've taught, and she has a natural affinity for complex mathematical thought. Not only is Katya top of her class, she works on algebra for fun outside of school, which has led to interesting discussions between us about the quadratic formula. In the classroom, Katya is always prepared and asks interesting questions that often require me to think a bit deeper about the content and stimulates additional in-depth discussions with the class. Katya is a student that others turn to for help in class and in ELT, and she is always willing to provide her insights to others. It has been a pleasure to have Katya in my classroom this year. Congratulations, Katya. We wish both of you our best wishes for success in all your future math classes. Congratulations again, and best of luck as you move on to high school. Bye. Bye. Good evening, everyone. My name is Mr. Hardison, and I teach eighth grade science on the blue team here at SMS. And I'm Mrs. Chin, and I teach science on the gold team here at SMS. We would like to take this time to announce the winners of the Thomas Michaela Science Award. Mr. Michaela spent his 35-year teaching career teaching science at the middle school level. When he retired in 2001, he started this award to honor and reward two eighth grade science students who demonstrate academic achievement, problem solving skills, and a sincere interest in science. Mr. Michaela, who loves science and is dedicated to learning, hopes to inspire students to join the ranks of scientists around the world. I've only had the opportunity to teach the students on the blue team since January of this year, but during my time here, I came to find that there were quite a few students who meet the qualifications to receive this award, making the decision to choose one student very difficult. There were so many of you who turned in quality work, exhibited very strong skill in science, and showed a great interest in the subject. Those of you, of you who were considered should be proud of your accomplishments. After careful consideration, I'm proud to announce that the 2020 recipient of the Thomas Michaela Science Award for the Blue Team is Liam, ha Liam Hakwasant. Liam is inquisitive and a very deep thinker. It is clear that he takes pride in going above and beyond to become an expert in each and every topic. Congratulations, Liam. The Gold Team has held a very special place in my heart this year. We've gone through so much together this year, and I'm so proud of all of you. Like Mr. Hardison, I also had a tough time deciding who would receive this award, as there were several of you that deserved this recognition. My ultimate decision came down to a person who has a strong passion for science, is a creative problem solver, and who consistently gave every assignment their 100% effort. Having said that, this year, the Thomas Michaela Science Award for the Gold Team is being given to Emery Anderson. Emery is a hard worker who takes pride in the work she does and asks for help when things get challenging. She is also a very kind person who is always willing to help anyone who may need it. Congratulations, Emery. We'd like to thank you all for a tremendous school year. Please stay safe and healthy. Have a wonderful summer and we wish you the best of luck in the high school next year. Before we move on to our next segment, I do have an additional recognition 
uh, in science. Eighth grade student Nathan Silvestri was awarded the best essay in the eighth grade division contest from the Hartford American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics. Nathan contributed an essay on the future advances of space technology and exploration, and he was awarded this statewide recognition. So I'd like to congratulate Nathan and thank him for representing Stonington Middle School for this statewide honor. Next up, we have our awards from our music department. I am so happy on behalf of the music department to be able to present our eighth grade awards to you today. The first award that we'd like to recognize is a scholarship award called the Nick Girard Music Award. Nick was a student who passed away out before entering his ninth grade year at Stonington High School. He was a talented musician and this award is given to a student who demonstrates an unwavering enthusiasm and love for music, is willing to take risks as he or she strives for personal success in the area of music, consistently displays outstanding citizenship skills as a part of an ensemble. And like Nick, this student is a friend to everyone. This year's recipient is Peter Previty. Peter has been uh, a member of the Eastern Region Chorus for the past two years. This year he auditioned for and joined Select Chorus and has done musicals at Pocketuck Middle School before we were joined as joining to middle school together. Peter is just an incredible person and everyone that knows him loves him. So congratulations to Peter. The next award we're gonna present is the James Hilby Award. James Hilby was the long serving band director at Fisk Middle School who created a band program that is well respected throughout the state of Connecticut and beyond. His dedication to his students and musical excellence was apparent to all. This award is given to students who embody Mr. Hilby's work ethic, dedication to music and the ensemble, selflessness, and passion. As he would say, there is no I in team. For Mr. Hilby's retirement, members of the community contributed so that a piece of music could be commissioned for the event. The piece, A Fond Farewell, was written by local composer and educator Anthony Susi. Part of, his commission, part of this commission contributed to a scholarship for promising young musicians. This year, there is a tie for the James Hilby Award. The first recipient is Anna Lee Parker. Anna Lee is a member of the percussion section, has participated in select chorus, and is a member of the Stonington Middle School Wind Ensemble. Anna Lee is a talented and passionate musician, always willing to take on whatever challenge is presented to her. Whenever one of her classmates need help, she is always the first to offer assistance. She genuinely cares about the success of the whole ensemble, mirroring Mr. Hilby's dedication to the success of his students. Annalee's passion, talent, and selflessness continue Mr. Hilby's legacy in the Stonington Middle School Band Program. We trust that Annalee will use her scholarship to further her musical education. Congratulations. The other recipient is Eamon Brady. Throughout his middle school years, Eamon has demonstrated passion and creativity in music. He has participated in jazz lab band, jazz ensemble, and wind ensemble. He's participated in the CMEA Eastern Region Middle School Music Festival for the past two years. He even had one of his own compositions premiered by the Pocketuck Middle School Band when he was just in sixth grade. His passion and enthusiasm for music making is an inspiration to his classmates and his teachers. We trust that Eamon will use this scholarship to further his work in music composition. And finally, the Shirley Clay Music Award. Shirley Clay was an elementary school teacher at West Broad Street School, and when Pawkatuck Middle School was launched as a five to eight school, Shirley was one of the first teachers to express her desire to teach the fifth grade. Shirley adored her students and her students adored her, and I can definitely say that because I was able to teach with Shirley. She was passionate about teaching and learning. She was a master teacher. In addition to being a gifted teacher, she was also very passionate about music and was an extremely talented classical singer. She found much joy in music, and this award is significant not only because Shirley Clay had a beautiful voice and shared her love of music with those around her, but most importantly, Shirley Clay indeed was a beautiful person. The student receiving this award today is Evan Anderson. Since I've known her in fifth grade, Evan has not stopped singing. She seeks out new adventures, getting into operas, singing in musicals, and has been in Eastern Region 
multiple times, has been a member of the ACDA Honors Choir, has been in select chorus for three years. And I cannot say enough about this young woman as she pursues her really a performance degree <laughs> in middle school and can't wait to see what she does beyond. On behalf of Stonington Middle School, we can't wait to see what you do in your future music endeavors. The last segment of our award show tonight is a reading of the list of all of the students who've qualified for the annual Presidential uh, Excellence Awards for Academics. Good evening, Stonington Middle School. The President's Award for Academic Achievement has two categories, Educational Excellence, this award recognizes academic success in the classroom. The primary indicators of excellence are based on academic achievement. Students are to earn a minimum grade point average of 90 on a 100 point scale or a letter grade of A on a letter scale. Educational achievement is recognizing students that show outstanding educational growth, improvement, commitment, or intellectual development in their academic subjects. Students are to earn a minimum grade point average of 80 on a 100 point scale or a letter grade of B. The following is a letter from President Trump. Congratulations to the recipients of the 2020 President's Education Award. Over the past years, the individuals who have earned this distinguished honor have exhibited exceptional work ethic and determination. Our nation will soon look to these future leaders for guidance and I am confident that they will continue to build a stronger, more prosperous future for our great country. The First Lady joins me in applauding the educators, administrators, parents, and other community leaders who have been there every step of their way to encourage and uplift these bright young men and women. As these talented students pursue their dreams and passions, we send our best wishes for continued success. Keep up the great work. Good morning, eighth grade families. I'm here to present the Presidential Award for Educational Excellence. Congratulations to the following students who are being recognized for earning A's all year. Anna Alder, Emery Anderson, Mia Batone, Lauren Buckley, Haley Dugan, Gabrielle Ferrara, Elise Green, Liam Hagpassand, Caitlin Kuhn, Elise Parson, Gianna Phillips, Sydney Plant, Brianna Plew, Sophia Reagan, A. Katarina Snagovich, Elise Tomaso, Matthew Teresa and Angelina Williams, congratulations. And I'm here to present the awards for educational achievement. Congratulations to the following students for earning A's and B's all year. Aiden Amaral, Evan Anderson, Maya Bengson, Sean Brennan, Alicia Cheatham, Kara Chimlecki, Dylan Simony, Evelyn Connolly, Alex DePari, Gabrielle Dimmick, Olivia Duhigg, Shia Fine, John Flaherty, Alec Furtado, Julia Fustini, Robert Gerard, Cameron Gudella, Griffin Harris, Megan Harris, Jesse Hinkle, Mason Holt, Gavin Jamison, Angelina Cavanaugh, Brenna Kelty, Ethan King, Addison Laby, Courtney Laby, Aaron Lepresto, Benjamin Mahoney, Ashlyn Mahoney, Jackson McCarney, Josephine McDermott, Maximus McGugan, Jenny Middleton, Analia Parker, Liam Payer, Emmett Peel, Natalia Rappel Trochez, Zachary Rogers, Ahmed Sala, 
Henry Sawin, Tyler Samau, Natalie Smith, Catherine Stachin, Nathan Silvestri, and Ethan Torres. Congratulations to our 2019-2020 Presidential Award recipients. Stonington Middle School is super proud of you. This concludes today's ceremony. We'd like to thank all of our special guests for joining us today. And we'd like to thank our current eighth grade class for their continued effort as they finish the year strong. Your resiliency during this difficult time was truly amazing. We look to our current sixth and seventh grade students to make good choices and prosper as they continue to establish themselves in our SMS community as leaders of tomorrow. Students, Please know that while you may not be in our school building, you're certainly in our hearts. Thank you for joining us for this award ceremony. <laughs>